There we go. And he has a friend called Ripple. Can you guess who it is? That's right. It's Luna Jim. Now it's time to rock it off and join Luna Jim and all of the gang. There's a man on the moon, you can count on him. He's getting lunar and his name is Jim. Adventure ahead and a lunar with it ride. Luna Jim. Wow, look, Jim, those rocks are upside down. And why is that bird flying backwards? This must be the topsy turvy zone Pixel talked about. Oh, of course, the topsy turvy zone. Uh, what does that mean? Topsy-turvy means everything's mixed up, Ted. Things that should go forward go backward, and things that should go up go down. Ha! That Fluffy is going backwards too! Is everything about this place mixed up? There's only one way to find out. Let's try an experiment and see. Now, what do you think will happen when I let go of the rock? That's easy! The round rock will roll down to the ground, of course! OK, let's see. It rolled up instead of down. I... I knew that was going to happen. <coughs> Did too. It looks like everything in this place is mixed up. Well, it's time to head back to Moona Luna. We can explore more of this topsy-turvy zone tomorrow. Hey, who put that there? Trust you to find a doorway to bump into, Ted. A doorway made of rock. Come on, Rover, to the scrambler. Don't be silly. Jim's not walking backwards. Huh? Ripple, why is Jim walking backwards? I'm sure he's just playing around. You know, Jim, he likes having fun as much as he likes exploring. Whoa! Jim! Is Jim going to drive all the way to Moon and Luna in reverse? I'm not sure, Ted. Let's take the scrambler. Let's get Luna! Huh? Huh? Hmm. That is one of the strangest things I've ever seen on this moon. Jim getting Luna backwards. Jim's doing everything backwards since our visit to the topsy-turvy zone. Hmm. But you were all there, right? So why is only Jim going backwards and not you? That's a good question, Eco. I don't know. Neither do I. And I'm a highly intelligent technical equipment device. <laughs> well, I think Jim was heading to the Eco Dome. I'd better go and see what he's up to. Almost done, Eco. Helping you plant is fun. Jim! What are you doing? You're supposed to be putting the plants into the garden, not pulling them out. Uh, <laughs> I'll finish up here, Jim. You go and see if anyone in the control tower needs a hand with something. No problem, Eco. OK, Ted. Here's the rubbish. Oh, no, Jim. You're supposed to take the rubbish outside, not bring the rubbish inside. You're doing the opposite. Wah! <laughs> Whoa! Are you OK, Ted? <laughs> if you really want to help me, stop helping me. I'll finish up here, Jim. It's time for you to go home for dinner. OK. See you later, Ted. Hello, Jim. 
Hi, Ripple. Want some breakfast? Jim, it's dinner time. You should be having dinner, not breakfast. But I always have breakfast in the morning. Jim, it's not morning. It's night time. Oh, never mind. Um, enjoy your breakfast. Eco, we've got to find out why Jim's in such a muddle. He's eating breakfast and it's almost time for bed. Oh, this is a problem. Ever since she went to the topsy-turvy zone, Jim's been doing the opposite of what he should be doing. It's like he's all mixed up. Well, we'll have to unmix him somehow. Walking backwards, unplanting plants, bringing in the rubbish, eating breakfast at dinner time. My brain circuits are getting confused. You're right, Ted. We have to find out what's making Jim act this way. We need to go back to the topsy-turvy zone and try and work out why it's happening. Technical equipment device, Ted, ready for action! Let's go! <sighs> Not now, Ted. It's time for bed. We'll leave in the morning. Oh, I'm still confused. Is it morning now or bedtime? Jim stayed up all night. Now he's finally sleeping in the middle of the morning. I'm ready to do my duty to help, Ripple. Just tell me what to do. OK, we need to work out what Jim did that caused him to get mixed up. Ted, can you remember everything Jim did last time we were here? Ha! Huh, that's easy! I can do that. I've got an excellent memory. Just watch. I am now being Lunar Jim. This must be the topsy-turvy zone Pixel talked about. Then Jim did the rock experiment. OK, let's see. Now, what do you think will happen when I let go of the rock? I am Luna Jim. That did not hurt. Well, it's time to head back to Moona Luna. Trust you to find a doorway to bump into, Ted. A doorway made of rock. Oh, well, that didn't work. You did everything Jim did and you're not. But you are! You're going backwards, just like Jim. Why? Eco, now Ted's moving backwards. Better get away from there, Ripple, before it happens to you, too. You're right, Eco. I'm on my way back. Who put that there? That's odd. Wasn't that Fluffy moving backwards? Now it's moving forwards. I wonder why. Oh. No, Ted. Mona Luna is this way. I can't explain it, Eco. We were at the topsy-turvy zone and Ted started walking backwards, just like Jim did. So, tell me exactly what happened. Ted was doing everything that Jim did. He talked like Jim did. He rolled the rock like Jim did. He walked through the rock doorway like Jim did. Rock doorway? What rock doorway? Well, there's a rock at the topsy-turvy zone that looks like a doorway. Both Jim and Ted walked through it just before they started going backwards. Hmm, that's it. Walking through the doorway must have made Jim and Ted mixed up. Maybe walking through it again will unmix them. You could be right, Eco. It's worth a try. Let's get Jim and Ted and head back to the topsy-turvy zone straight away. OK, you two. Time to go back through the rock doorway again. <laughs> Crashing comet! I'm not walking backwards anymore. Neither am I! Oh, happy day! Well done, Eco. It worked! Hurry, let's leave this silly topsy-turvy zone before my head starts spinning again. <laughs> hey, who put that there? Well, it looks like everything's back to normal. <laughs> <laughs>